Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizesh.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add custom text to your category pages. All right, so here's what I mean by that. Let's say I click on this category called featured. All right, and by default, adding content into these categories isn't you don't have that option by default. So um, what you want, to, what meaning there is no page or post function for that. So what I want to do is I want to show you how can you change the headline here and how can you add custom text into this section as well or even video and stuff so here's how you do it go into your admin panel go to categories and now in categories go to the category you want to add stuff to so we're on featured right well go to featured and click on edit And now what you're going to do is see the section here that says introductory headline and introductory content. I'm going to go over the SEO stuff in a second, but for now, introductory headline and introductory content. All right. So this is my new feature title. Introductory headline is going to replace the title here. Now introductory content, this is the content. is going to obviously add content right below the headline so let's say this is my content and you know what let's actually add a video as well so let's go to YouTube if you don't know how to get if you don't know how, what I'm doing with this stuff just check out the video tutorial on getting YouTube videos but basically go to YouTube video you click on embed you click on use old embed code and now you put the width 600 you click here copy and now let's go back to our category and let's say you want to have it here you paste the code there just to show you that you could put video here if you like and now we have our text we have a video we click on update and we have our new headline and what that's gonna do is see how it says item updated now what that's gonna do on this section here when I hit refresh it adds a new headline it adds my custom content and then it adds a video and now it shows all my blog postings it's just an awesome way to use your um, your categories to just be descriptive so instead of having loads of categories you could create descriptive categories that tell people what it is and everything All right, and then it shows your latest blog postings so now that's how you change the basic functions but there's one important thing for SEO you need to understand by default okay let's go back to our featured category go to edit by default, your WordPress system, the way that we set it up, and this is intentional, the way we set up your system is to not let search engines index, which means they can't save these pages. All right, so, and uh, meaning, let's say if Google comes to this page, they're never going to say this this featured category is going to appear in their search engines. And uh, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but the reason is this actually helps your website overall because you avoid duplicate content here's what I mean you see see how this posting today's demo beach report shows up in the featured category that we're in as well as business of the month so let's go to business of the month see how it has see how it has this same posting here and in, in the business of the month category and it has this same posting here in the featured category and let's say we even have other ones here most recent home sales new listings city parade most recent home sales is another duplicate one so basically you could see categories create duplicate content issues for your website so what we do when we build your website and this is important we do this intentionally we make all your categories and all your tags not show up in the search engines meaning and here's the reason why if you have like 50 categories you're gonna have 50 opportunities for duplicate content and that's not a good idea alright because if you have loads of categories that have a lot of the same postings, Google's going to think they're all the same page. Your your link juice gets gets devalued or not devalued. Your linking juice gets spread out too thin, and you lose a lot of the power of your of your main pages. All right. So here's the whole point. In your title, though, let's say you do have a custom category. If if you are going to create custom content across the top here with your own title and custom content here, then only in this instance will you click on this thing that says no index this page uncheck this box 
by doing that it's telling Google you're gonna index this category page and that is okay because if you have one category page indexed but yet you uh, and even though you might have duplicates like business of the month that have duplicate postings it's okay because these aren't seen so if something's invisible that's not like this is invisible to Google which means they don't save this duplicate duplicate content but they are gonna save the one that you just now chose to uncheck as no index unchecking that one and then you put a custom title saying you know uh, featured city featured postings for uh, San Francisco let's say I'm just making up that title and then your meta description this is the description people see people see in search results and if you don't know what all the stuff is then you need to check out the video tutorial on on your SEO settings and details that explains what your title tag meta description and meta keywords are and how they work with your site so this is the description people see so check that out if you're a little bit confused right now and then keywords keywords test test again here and I'll show you what this does and then of course the key thing though uncheck this button to make it blank but only uncheck it if you're putting a custom title and custom text here alright because if you don't put custom title and if you don't put custom text here you're gonna have duplicate content issues alright so only if you use this feature then uncheck this feature alright if you don't use this and if you don't use this then make sure this is still checked that's extremely important for SEO alright so now after that we click on update and here's what we're gonna see when we hit refresh now basically you don't see anything different but at least your properly built category is now gonna be indexed by Google because we told it to and it's gonna have good SEO because you put in your keywords in the title tag which is which show up at the top of your pages here see when I hover over it featured postings for San Francisco homes you put a custom title tag and you put a custom meta description and if you don't know what those are check out the video tutorial on SEO details and that'll explain it so that's everything you need to know for modifying your or customizing your um, categories for SEO and for making custom landing content on the landing pages uh, one more quick thing um, the same thing applies to your tags I just went over all of this for your categories but the same rules apply for your tags if you go to tags here everything I went over on this tutorial applies to your tags you'll notice in your tags you have the same options so like let's say I click on I click on Cal California financial crisis when I click on edit you're gonna see the exact same features and literally everything I explained in this video tutorial with no index with your introductory headline and content it all applies to tags as well it's the same exact functioning alright so keep that in mind if you're gonna create custom tag pages do everything I talked about in this tutorial as well alright and uh, the last little final thing I showed you how to edit this stuff while a category or tag was already created if you're creating something brand new and you know it's gonna be important you could always do it right from the start before adding the tag you could do all this stuff but I like to just create the tag first and then I like to do it it just makes it easier tag or category doesn't matter see add new category you can put in your details here but remember always follow my rule that I said about no index or keeping this checked off or che keeping this check open or on unless you put content here if you put custom content here then it's okay to uncheck it if not leave it checked like as you as it is by default alright or else you have massive duplicate content issues for your website so that's everything you need to know for adding custom text and custom uh, titles to your categories and tags alright well good luck if you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and ask me there, the way you see tizish spelled here. All right, good luck, take care.